Hello, hello, Brooklyn. My name is Aaron Watkins. And I'm Nicole Soule. And we're representing Brooklyn Independent Media. Today we're in downtown Brooklyn. And why are we here, Nicole? We are here for the seventh annual Brooklyn Fashion Week, brought to you by Brooklyn Style Foundation. Aaron Watkins, Brooklyn Independent Media. We're here with the borough president, the man who needs no introduction, Mr. Eric Adams. How are you today, sir? Good, good. Always good seeing you. Okay. Can you tell us how important it is to have Brooklyn Fashion Week in downtown Brooklyn this year? Oh, so important because the goal is to use the borough as an unpainted canvas. And no space should be off limit to expressing art. There's a lot of opportunity that's going to happen in Brooklyn around fashion. And people are, are going to be able to come here to get the handbags they want, the shoes they want, or even they just want a t-shirt that says Brooklyn on it. Um, they can do that. And so that's what it's about, allowing people to get the full scope and finding that taste that fits you, not only your wallet, but also that fits you and your style. And you're going to see some a lot of creativity come out of Brooklyn based on the art scene and the fashion scene. I'm here with the amazing Councilwoman Laurie Cumbo. How are you today? I'm awesome. Feeling great in the midst of all this Brooklyn beautiful energy. I mean, it's amazing right now, and this is what Brooklyn is all about. This is the greatest place in the world, and I couldn't be happier to be the council member um, than right at this moment, because this is really the energy of Brooklyn. And to have the diversity that's here, to bring all of these beautiful young people here today, um, it's exciting because we have an opportunity to not only utilize fashion as a way to celebrate the creativity and the uniqueness of Brooklyn, but what I'm so proud about this year is that we're going to utilize it to also bring about a greater awareness to sexual assault all throughout New York City and this world. We just bumped into Michelle here at Brooklyn Fashion Week. Michelle, can you tell us a little bit about Denim Day? She heads up Denim Day. Well, we're, we're partnering with Denim Day uh, this year to bring awareness to sexual assault um, in the community and to end violence in the community, and it takes all of us to do that. Um, we're really excited that we have Fashion Week Brooklyn in our corner and all the organizers. We have a resource table. Uh, we're partnered with Mayor's Office uh, to combat domestic violence. They're here to provide resources. Awesome. So we're here and we're ready. You can tell so much about what someone's into by the way they dress. And Brooklynites are really famous for displaying their interests every day on the streets of Brooklyn, and it's really fantastic to see. We're here with Vivian Liao from the Downtown Brooklyn Partnership. Vivian, can you tell us how important it is to have events like this in downtown Brooklyn? Yeah, no, we're really focused in downtown Brooklyn on activating all of our public plazas, making sure people are out here on the streets, uh, having a good time, shopping, eating, going to restaurants, and events like Fashion Week Brooklyn are a perfect place, uh, for perfect occasion to do that. Uh, we also think it's very fitting that we're here on Fulton Mall, sort of epicenter of fashion in Brooklyn and, you know, really the rest of the world. And so it's a very fitting partnership for us to be bringing this uh, to the public and doing it outdoors for the first time, I believe. So much to William High School, yeah, which is a very interesting bunch of kids. You know, they just graduated and here they're on the runway. We kind of mentored them over the last couple of seasons, so we're really excited about that. How was it mentoring the high schoolers for the show? It's always good for me because I like to get it from the ground up. You know, I think we need to reach our talent when they're a little bit younger, as opposed to enjoying them when they're celebrities. The next is to try to see, to help mentor more people, to bring more emerging fashion to Brooklyn, you know, and to really to help the, our talent and our community in the fashion business. It's so important. And I'm here with the father and son dynamic duo, the makers and creators of King Rook. I have the father here, Richard. How are you? I'm good, and yourself? Good. And I have the son here, Andrew. You're so handsome. Thank you. So how did this start with the whole bow ties? Do you guys, are you guys naturally dapper? Uh, we try to be as much as we can, but you know, we were sitting down one day and we were talking about creating a clothing line and we both like bow ties and it, it seemed like the right thing to do. Andrew, what's your favorite part of running King and Rook? Do you love picking out the fabric? Do you like... Yeah, I, I really like picking out the fabric. What colors do you like to pick out? 
Just all sorts of colors, pretty much, because I like um, all the bow ties to be creative, so it's not like any other bow tie. Well, it's Brooklyn Fashion Week, and we're here with Donna Drew, my new friend. Can you tell us a little bit about Trash Couture and what this is we're seeing right now? Trash Couture is basically very eco-friendly, eco-fashion, where we're having the kids take trash, things that, that we would normally throw away, and creating a magnificent gown, a, a masterpiece. Okay. You know, I'm looking at the sign. It says, please join us. Try your hand at designing. How important is it for people to actually sort of put their hands on and try designing, and how does that change somebody? I don't think I've ever actually designed anything before. Well, it's time. You should try. I mean, anyone designs. Use your imagination. We need to do more of that. So that's what this is about, encouraging the young people and everyone to get involved. Well, my name is Aaron Watkins. And I'm Nicole Soul. Aaron, let me see what you're working with. Let me see your walk. What are you working with? Um, well, you know, I just get up on the, you know, just... To see the day. Okay.